Last year, a quarter of a million animals were used here for research, testing and teaching. Almost half of them were mice, rats and fish. In total, 43% of the animals used died. Guinea pigs, rabbits, rats and mice fared worse, more than 90% of them dying as a direct result of the work or being euthanized afterwards. It is my understanding that there's no benefit from it. It doesn't serve a medical purpose to experiment on something that has not the same DNA as us. So I think Pamela Anderson, well, she brought up a very good point, is that the majority of the testing is inconclusive, and once it goes to human trials, it doesn't match the data that it showed for, for the animals. So mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't think it applies. Okay. And no, I don't think it's ethical to test on animals. The majority of the animals in testing are killed during or after the experiments, and the rest suffer the whole time. In 2010, 97,123 animals were not given anesthesia or any kind of medication to relieve pain. This included 1,395 primates, 5,996 rabbits, 33,652 guinea pigs, and 48,015 hamsters. In vitro testing or studying human cell cultures in petri dishes has been proven to produce more relevant results than animal testing. Animal testing fails to catch more than 96% of the problems with drugs, and clinical trials remain too brief and narrow to fully compensate for the failures of animal experimentation.